when Honor Blackman joined the cast of the Avengers in 1962, the episode Warlock was designed to introduce her character of Kathy Gale to the audience. However, somewhere along the line the plans changed, and the second series opened with Mr. Teddy Bear on Saturday the 29th of September 1962. Mrs. Gale had arrived, albeit without an introduction. This left a small problem. Warlock had been recorded, but broadcasting Kathy's introduction after she'd already appeared might be a little bit confusing. Re-recording the whole episode would have been expensive and time-consuming, so the best option was deemed to be to reshoot some key scenes. Now, fortunately, all of the introductory material was between Steed and Mrs. Gale, so no other actor was required other than the regulars. So, on Monday the 7th of January 1963, exactly six months after Warlock had been originally recorded, three scenes were re-recorded. Steed meeting Kathy at the museum, their conversation in Kathy's car after meeting Cosmo Galleon, and the final scene in the pub. We still have the script for the original episodes, so it's quite interesting to see how the scenes were originally written. In the first scene, where Steed and Kathy meet for the first time, Steed is flirting with her from the get-go, and she's already unimpressed. Their conversation in the car originally contained more about Kathy's backstory, detailing her exceptional range of skills and how she was a widow. Kathy also accuses Steed of having her followed, which he doesn't deny. The final scene in the pub ends with Steed asking Kathy if he can call on her again, which she responds with a rather direct no before driving off. The final line of the episode is given to Steed's superior 110, who's revealed to be in the pub at the end of the scene. All the same, I think she enjoyed herself. When it came to editing in this new material, there was another problem. Video editing in 1963 was still very primitive. As we can see from the finished episode, the cuts are quite rough and cause the picture to break up for a moment. Warlock was eventually broadcast on Saturday the 26th of January 1963, and it's likely that most of the viewers at home wouldn't have noticed any of these edits. Not unless they were watching very closely. While the arrival of Kathy Gale had some small difficulty, she got off quite lightly compared to both of her successors. But those are stories for another time.